Hey, welcome to another 4-Minute Friday with TPM. Today we're going to be covering Bluebeam Review. My name is Brody Whitlock, and I'm an AEC technical consultant here. What we're going to be covering today within Bluebeam is creating custom symbols for counting. So Bluebeam Review has a set few symbols that you normally would use. So your check mark, your circle, your square, and I think there is a triangle as well. But what if you run out of those or you just want to do something different? You do have the ability to create a custom column or not a custom column, but actually a custom symbol within Bluebeam. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you guys, obviously there are those unique or those standard items within Bluebeam's count function. But what if you wanted to say use a cloud? Well, you can do that. So what we're going to do is create this cloud here. Um, one thing you do need to do when you're creating a custom count symbol is that item has to be added to your tool. So you can't just draw it on the document and then decide to make it a count. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add it to my tools. Or if you have a custom cu a toolbox you want to use, you can do that too. So once you do that, you can right click on that symbol and create a count. So now whenever I place this cloud amongst the drawing, it is also creating an account. If I were to end that, I would have to right click on it to continue the count or it will start a completely new count every time. Now, one thing I want you to notice is that I did not erase this symbol out of my toolbox. And the reason being is because within that toolbox, you will need that that tool that you created initially before you made it a count to change it in any way. So if we say want to make a green one, which I'll do here in a second, we want to make this cloud green and maybe add a hash pattern to it. You're going to need that original tool that you made initially um, because you cannot go back and edit that count measurement or that count symbol. You can't go back and, and edit it to make it a different color or add a pattern or a hatch or anything to it. So that's one thing I always recommend. So you can keep those on your my tools maybe and then as you go along, you can create different colors and stuff like that. But once you've done that, you'll do the same thing. You do also have to add that different color to your tools. And then you have to right click on it and say create count. So now we have a green cloud with a diagonal hatch pattern uh, using it to actually count some other items within the drawing. So this has been a really short one, um, but I know I found it useful because working with certain um, people you may want something unique to your company so you do have this ability to do that and again thank you for listening and thank you for watching another four minute friday you can look for us on tpm.com as well as you can subscribe to our tpm solutions channel on youtube